Researchers at the University of New Hampshire are one step closer to potentially unlocking a key mystery surrounding autism spectrum disorder. Good evening, I'm Pat Callahan. And I'm Cindy Williams. According to the Centers for Disease Control, the neurological condition affects one in 40 children in this country. Researchers at UNH have discovered how certain proteins may play a role in autism and why it's more prevalent in boys than among girls. New Center's Vivian Lee is here now to tell us more about this really interesting discovery. Definitely, Pat and Cindy. Now, researchers are possibly on the brink of finding out why boys are four times more likely than girls to develop autism. The st study focused on how proteins in the brain are regulated, and the hope is this breakthrough could lead to new treatments for autism. Autism is significantly more common in boys than girls, but the exact reasons for this ratio continue to baffle scientists. Make progress. But according to researchers at the University of New Hampshire, the answer could be on how protein is regulated in the brain based on sex. How's it going? Mao Chen is an assistant professor of neurobiology. For three years, he and a team of students studied male and female enzymes in the brains of mice. They looked at chemical compounds that attach themselves to a group of proteins to regulate them to see which were influenced based on sex. They also identified more than 200 proteins that were more highly regulated in females than in males. Of that number, more than 30 percent were associated with autism. Research suggests because female proteins were more highly regulated, it could possibly help prevent the development of autism. The female regulation is higher, and the male the, the protein regulation is lower. If this occurred in boy, uh, it more likely to affect, affect the neural development. The findings could lead to a new frontier for autism research, treatment, and potential hope for people living with a neurological condition. Eventually, we'll figure out. Uh, in, the long, uh, in the future, we'll figure out why boys are more susceptible to, to autism. Now, students at UNH want to continue their research, which still is in the very early stages. They plan to apply for grants and are hopeful other mem members of the medical research community across the country, Pat and Cindy, will join them in proving this theory. Again, they're in the early stages. It could be years to come, but still, this is incredible, an incredible breakthrough. It's Always exciting. good to see steps being taken. Yes. Thanks, Viv.